Hi, I'm Debbie and welcome to my channel Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're doing our longer reading from June 1st through the 15th for my Capricorns. Hello my lovely Capricorns. I hope all is going great for you. Okay, so what do we want to know about June? Well, in June we have our new moon on the 3rd. That will be in Gemini. That's where it's a good time for you to you know, to actually look for new um, new projects, new times. Remember, from the full moon to the new moon is waning, and that's when you are giving things up. From the new moon to the full moon is called waxing, and that's when you are requesting things. Now, our full moon comes in the 17th, and that's when you do it all. You do the, you know, the release, the relinquish, and the request. And, you know, and that will actually be in Sagittarius. Now, that's going to be a very um, spiritual moon. It's going to be one that's going to be of hope and optimism. So, good things to remember about this. And then towards the, you know, I think it is the 21st, we go into Cancer season. Now, remember, because this is the longer reading, I use three decks. I use my Angel Tarot Cards by Radley, Van Radley Valentine. Now, that is, gives us that main message. Then I go to my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. That provides any kind of extra little knowledge we need to know. And then I ask for any kind of advice from my Osha Zen Tarot cards. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused each deck with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like leave the rest, okay? So thank you all for liking, sharing, and subscribing. We are just growing all the time, and I want to thank you so much for that, because without you, well, I wouldn't be doing this, would I? So thank you so much. Um, you know, I just, you know, I do appreciate your comments. I do appreciate you doing that for me. Um, if you haven't, please go ahead and like, share, and subscribe too. And that little bell is also good for you to, you know, click on if you want to know my many readings. I do, this is the longer reading, and then I do the short, the short, what I call the mini readings, or the, you know, this is like the chapters, and the short reading is like the, um, you know, like the um, paragraphs, okay? So let's go ahead and see what we have. So this is going to be, this is the six of water, okay? This is going to be a reflective time for you. This is where you look back. You know, this is where you think about your, you know, how did I get to where I'm at now? I really find that this is some soul searching here for you, my Capricorns. I feel like this is where, you know, you know, you're digging out, you're digging the dirt and you're plant, you know, and you're planting the seeds and you're getting ready to go forward. But in order for you to go forward, you have to understand that past. So the six of water is memory from your history or childhood. Issues regarding children, romanticizing the past. So, you know, this could be, too, when you do look back in the past. Um, the only thing for you, my Capricorns, is you're pretty, you're pretty realistic. I don't see you necessarily being very, um, very romanticizing it. Not that you can't be romantic. I'm not saying that. But I think that you're going to be looking at it um, probably more that past with that, you know, with that, um, you know, with the microscope, okay? So just, just be aware that when you're looking back, maybe you're gonna be looking at it a little bit harsher than what it really deserves. Okay, so let's go with this one. Now the next card is reversed to me, and since I'm the reader, I get to do this. Reversed cards are, hey, please watch me, okay? Somebody likened it recently to, uh, you know, a kid standing on their head and saying, mom, mom, here, watch me. So this one's reversed, and here is the Ten of Water. Again, it's that water energy, which is our Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. It's that fluidity. It's that emotional energy, which you may not necessarily want to deal with these, you know, these 15 days in June, but sometimes you really do need to have that. And sometimes you do need to remember that you actually are an emotional person. Um, you know, you do tend to really push those emotions down, so this might, this, this might be actually coming up a little bit more so. So this is a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. So just be aware. Just be aware of the emotional, um, you know, the emotional flow of this time. 
Your emotions may be just under the surface. It's not necessarily what you like to deal with, but it actually is going to be very healthy for you to deal with it. And it's also good for other people to know that you are not this you know, that you are not this solid statue, okay? I don't know who that's for, but it's like you're, you know, you're not, you know, you have feelings and it's okay for people to know that they sometimes hurt your feelings. But with the 10, you know, and I talk about this with the short readings too, but 10s always are like endings with new beginnings. So there could be an ending in an emotional um, you know, in a, in, a, in, a, in a way that you handle your emotions and then with that new beginning, there could be a new emotional release for you, okay? So there could actually be, you know, I mean, you know, and again, when I talk about relationships, it could be job or career, it could be interpersonal, or it could be family, but I am feeling that this is more um, connecting with family and interpersonal, okay? There's more of an emotional connection I am also kind of feeling that um, that there's going to be new new situations coming into your life where, you know, and that could be, I'm saying, new people coming into your life. It could be part of your family. Um, you know, maybe like, you know, maybe this is what's, you know, summer coming. Maybe there's going to be reunions, things like that. But I really feel that you are going to be very open to people or you're going, people are going to be coming into your life. Let's see what this last card is. This is again reversed. So let's see. The Ace of Earth. Now I like this for you because especially following this Ten of Water, you know, doors are closing. Ace of Earth. Earth is your energy along with our Taurus and Virgo. And it's very solid energy. It's family energy. You know, things you can touch. It's also money energy. But Aces are new beginnings. Okay. This is opening up that door. So this door is closing. Not to say that the happy family life is closing, no, but this emotional, there's an emotional door closing and something new that's actually more solid is opening. So that again, I feel like there could be a new relationship coming into your life. Now, the inflow of abundance, that's wonderful. The promising business venture, important documents or contracts. So I think, yeah, I feel like there's new, there's, you know, it's like, you know, you've been looking at the past, you're letting that past go, I hope you are, um, you know, because I think that some of it has, was very, very hurtful, um, and now it's like, you know, you're, you're looking at where you're at and now opening these new doors so that you could actually have actually a healthier, you know, a healthier relationship. I feel like there's healthier relationships coming for my Capricorns, and again, job, career, interpersonal, family, okay? So let's go on to my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle card. So let's see, anything you can tell me, any more that you can tell me for my Capricorns here? I really feel too that this Sagittarius full moon will be a time for you to have some really good hope. And actually, you know, it's a very, it can be a very spiritual moon uh, or spiritual energy, I should say. You know, I never tell you to worship the moon, but I do, you know, tell you that there's energy. It is doc documented scientific proof that this, you know, that the moon affects the earth, okay? And affects us. Okay, four cards are coming out. So, okay, so basically, you know, this card is the first one that popped. And here we have a seven, and seven it, to me is a very divine number. But this is telling you to choose wisely. So as some of these doors close and things open up, it's really telling me, you know, make sure that you make that connection so that you are led, you are guided by your, and I feel really angelic, more, you know, I really feel angelic guidance. It could, of course, be your divine, higher power, um, spirit guides, guardian angels, voice of the universe. But I really feel for you as this one door closes and this other door opens and you've kind of got, you know, you, you're, I feel like you're more grounded also, you know, emotionally grounded for this new, whatever this new relationship is coming. But you really mean, need to make that connection um, so that you can stay grounded. Also, too, remember, I'm very much about, hey, take your shoes off. If it's warm where you're at, take your shoes off and put your feet in the sand, put your feet in the dirt, stay grounded, Okay. But I really feel that this is, you know, you need to make sure that you do your meditation, you know, whatever it is to, 
you know, here, you know, what your next steps are going to be, okay? Because again, too, now this is, you know, this is about emotional loss. It's not so much, I don't feel that it is so much that you're going to have, you know, like that there's going to be this big loss per se, but I feel that, you know, again, with this, with the first cards, that it's more a thing of you actually, you know, looking back and, and you know, and you going, you, you, you looking at your emotions and, you know, I really feel grounding for you. I really feel that you have been the last couple of months, even though, you know, they you know, we talk about they go up and down a little bit, and, but I really feel that you are going forward in this June in a, um, a more grounded way, you are letting more and more of your baggage leave, okay? It's this thing about this 10 of water where I'm like the door is closing, this emotional door is closing. Not that you are becoming not an, you know, but it's like you are being more integrated. It's like a more of an integration of your emotions. It's more of a balanced emotion for you. Okay, now these next two cards are face down, so let's see what they say. Okay, reversed, and again, you know what I say about reversed, and this one is the waiting game. So really, 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 as this is all happening, you need to stay calm with this. You know, it, I, I almost feel like you can almost see, you can see the events happening around you, and sometimes you want to, it, it, you know, it's like, you know, you want to um, put your fingers in it. It's like, you know, I'm seeing like this this fluid, um, you know, pat, this fluid water with, with some, you know, fish swimming and they're all swimming this way and you want to like put your finger in and make the fish swim the other way. So, you know, you want to kind of divert it. You want to take some control over it. Um, I'm really going to tell you again, you know, make that connection and let, let um, that again, you know, that, that bigger source, let that bigger source be the one to actually make some of these decisions for you. Now this last card, and again, this goes along with just what I was saying. You know, this is again, you need to make sure that you have that connection and that you let that, you let, because that's the thing, we have choices here. We all have choices, but you let that that bigger, you know, that higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, divine voice of the universe, you let them guide you. Because I keep feeling again that you want to put your, you know, you want to put your fingers in in the in the course, and you know, and you want to maybe make that, um, you know, you want to have that control. Well, you can do that. You can definitely do that. But I'll tell you, when you do that, um, it changes possibly a divine plan for you. Okay. So let's go on in here my OSHA Zen Tarot cards, and let's see what we have for any final words of advice. So yeah, what am I seeing for you basically is that there is, you know, like I said, there are new relationships um, coming, um, things going back, you know, things um, changing for you. You, um, you know, you kind of, like I said, really strong with the grounding and really strong with, it's almost like you're becoming more mature emotionally and I know there's many of you that are very mature but it's almost it, it's almost like you yourself are um, if you're stronger you're stronger emotionally you're going to become stronger and because of that it's it's because of that you're you're going to be welcoming new new relationships in your life now again too what does relationships mean you know we've talked about that too okay so let's go ahead and cut and see what we have here. Okay, two cards popped out. And the first card is reversed, and this one is sorrow. Now, it's just so fun, you know, I mean, here we have it with this emotional loss. Here we have it with this, you know, just kind of looking back. So with this, you know, and you know, with this, um, uh, you know, with the, when they're talking sorrow here, is it that you're going to feel some, you know, is there going to be pain? There could be some emotional pain. I really feel that this whole time is going to have some emotional cleansing for you. And you are really going to be letting baggages go. You're going to be, you know, closing those doors. You're going to close those doors to open it up to some happy times for you too. Okay? So this is letting go of baggage, letting go of um, 
past hurts, okay? And you know I talk about forgiveness because forgiveness, you know, it can only, it really helps you. It really helps you. I don't tell you to go back into the situation. You know, that's not what I am saying at all. But, you know, it does help you. Because your next card, and these are your advice cards. So this is basically saying just watch your emotions. You know, because your emotions are going to feel a little loosey-goosey. But really, good stuff is coming to you. And this is, again, this could be, a, you know, I'm feeling really very much for my Capricorns. This is going to be all about emotional times, relationships, um, just relationships. But, but, you know, I do feel blessings. I do feel that there's going to be a lot of, a lot of um, strong abundance coming to you. You need to know how to welcome it. You need to know how to receive it. You need to know how to recognize it, okay? Because that's the one thing is that I don't necessarily know that any of us really know how to do that. Sometimes we see something and we're like, oh, well, that, you know, and then we didn't know. Oh, my goodness, that was life changer. Okay, your last card, and here we are, awareness. Okay, now these, this, these two cards were face down. And so here this person is, again, be aware of your, be aware of um, your circumstances, be aware of your spiritual environment, be aware of your physical environment, you know, be, you know, tr you know, heighten that awareness. Again, you know, use that, use that moon energy, you know, as it's waning to that full, to that new moon, give away things, you know, give away um, as it's going to that full moon, ask for things. So, And when you get closer to the full moon, because that will be the 17th, and you probably want to start this on the 14th. Again, you know, many of you um, do wonderful, wonderful rituals of, you know, and again, release, relinquish, and request. But the thing is, this is going to be a time of heightened awareness for you. And it really depends on how you are going to handle that you know are you going to run away from it are you going to accept it you know um you can you know you've got choices you do not have to you know this is these are all choices i give you what's you know what the energies are like and with it you know you can make your choices from there but there's really a lot of good, um, there's really a good, a lot of good self aware and I, that's, you know, there's going to be the self-awareness, and I feel for my Capricorns that you're actually going to feel very okay with yourself, which I really think is good. Many people, we tend to, oh, I need to, you know, I need to lose weight, or I need to um, you know, make more money, or I need, you know, I need to do this. It's always, you know, about the self-improvement thing. But I think this is a time where you're actually going to be self-aware. Your awareness of everything that you have and you offer, I really think that you're going to, it's like you're going to kind of be aware that, you know, you are enough. You are enough and that you are valued here, okay? It's really a very good, I mean, it's, it's, it's yeah, yeah. I don't see anything, you know, jumping out to say, ooh, surprise. I just feel a lot of introspective, introspection. So have a good, you know, it, it's okay. It's okay to do that. So my Capricorns, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.